Good afternoon, friends. I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Totally Tropical Transport Fever 2. And uh, we've got some trains going on here, and that's that's always a good thing, because we do like a train. Uh, I've advanced the year to uh, 1890, and uh, I've got so much money that uh, I've lost all sense in the world. And so, therefore, I'm going to put together something pretty dramatic today. And uh, I'm, I'm certain that it's going to have absolutely no ill effects on my ability to expand further in the future at all. No. Now, I like the looks of this bit. Yeah, I do. This this is a bit that I like the looks of. And uh, and that's, I mean, that's good news for all of us, isn't it? Oh. Do you want to know why I like the looks of this bit? Okay, right. So, I like the looks of this bit because uh, this is a good place for a, a dedicated container port uh, that is going to handle exports over to the big island here. Uh, you say big. It's uh, whatever size island it might be. Uh, it's also a good place to get the imports of stone. Oh, steady on. Yeah, no, it's a great place for that. Um, and, uh, and why do we even care? Because that's where I'm going to put my, uh, my food hub. Now then, I think the food hub may end up being more than just a food hub. It may end up being the import, uh, import output. Put now export export import export uh, for the entire map as far as these uh, clowns are concerned. Yeah, um, we don't know, uh, but uh, we will uh, we'll, uh, we'll experiment and find out. Um, yeah, I mean over here is also good, but you've got I mean you've got a ton of people here who want food, and frankly there are that many towns that want a bit of food that uh, that I could make quite a healthy living off just doing that. Anyway, I got twenty four million quid in the bank. Uh, let's have a quick look at the old uh, the lines chart here and see who is uh, who is cause for concern. Uh, well, only two lines uh, are losing any money at all. Uh, food production for MCO two and a half million. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm about to cancel that, so, you know, that's nice. Um, yeah, two, three lines are, are losing a bit of cash at the moment. Uh, the Pack Zion, the sort of Beauclair high drama, uh, I mean, it's just a bit old is its problem, but every time it drops off, it pops back in a profit, so that's good. Uh, same kind of deal with the North Main Line line, um, is that, uh, you know, it's got 66 passengers on board, so as soon as it turns up somewhere, that minus 46 is going to disappear pretty quickly. As, as it just did. Well, it almost did. Oh. Okay, well, look, I haven't really developed that area yet. It will come into its own when the time arises. Uh, the ferry is not carrying enough passengers, but that's okay. Once I start wanging a few more people towards the passenger terminals, that'll, that'll happen. So, enough of that. Let's do some of this. Um, right. So, I want a port, and uh, I think I might spend heavy... Uh, yeah, really? I hadn't finished the sentence. Uh, I might spend heavy on uh, on making a uh, a really, really nice kind of port experience area. Mm, good. Okay, right. So, and that means that we may sacrifice this kind of inlet in the future. I'm gonna, we'll start off, we'll keep it simple to start with. So it's a cargo harbour, we'll make it large and we'll bang four hole of the terminals on it. Uh, and then that's going to live about there, right? So you've got this inlet and I might, uh, I might, you know, smooth this out and turn it into something that looks manufactured um, later on. But for now, that will almost certainly do the trick. Uh, the only thing that is really necessary... No, nothing's really necessary. Just spend the money and plumb it in. Okay. Yeah? Yes. All right, good. Yeah, a piece of uh, instant decision-making going on there. Now, I'm going to do... I'm going to spend a bit of money on uh, on flattening out the area a bit. Uh, let's crank the, crank the strength and the size up. You call that size? I don't. Because we want it to be all the same height as this bit here. Uh, right. Now, this has got to have connection. Oh, look at the money go. Uh, it's, this has got to have connection with quite a lot. So uh, so making sure that I can get a, a, a plenty big station in here is pretty useful. Uh, right. How do you feel about that? Well, it's rubbish. That's how I feel about that. Is you know, you've you've barely done anything that's going to be useful for plumbing your station in. Now, the angle of the station almost doesn't matter because it's got to go everywhere. 
Uh, do I make it a terminal? Do I make it a, uh, a, a throughput station? Throughput station gives you the choice to enter from either end. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think there's manoeuvring room to do that though. Anyway, three hundred and twenty eight tracks. Let's not mess around. This is a big one. Um, yeah, it's uh, this is this is a proper wallop of a uh, of a station that we're sticking in here. There you go. That is a proper wallop right there. It really is. Okay, now just have a quick double check. I mean, the only thing that really matters is that it can talk to the port, uh, despite the fact that, it, that the port is not necessarily the uh, the main uh, constituent of uh, of what we're putting together here. I think before I do that, that's happening incidentally. Uh, but before I do that, we will uh, we'll bang in some roads. Now I'm going to use large streets rather than roads. Why are you using large streets rather than roads, Colonel? I hear you cry. Uh, because we're that close to Zion that you never know your luck. We might get a few people who just kind of go, you know where I want to live? Daphne. Um, it could be. Uh, I want to live right next to the right, right next to the port. Why? Uh, I like ships. Uh, okay. Yeah, this was not something we'd spoken about previously. I'm, I'm now, uh, I'm now rather regretting having married you. Uh, right, okay, so that would then do something like this. That's horrible. Uh, going along the cliffside, however, that could... Oh, that could be... That could be uh, rather marvellous. Are we doing this now, are we? Yeah, right. can you think of a better time? Well, not now. Get back to building the, the whacking great train thing that you were talking about before, because, you know, that's the kind of thing that gets your, your, your viewing public all excited. Oh, I like that. It's unnecessary, but I do like it. Is it going to interfere with... Yeah, it probably is. Um, now, not that I think that this is actually going to work in terms of getting people moving in here, but, you know, I, it won't be through a lack of, uh, of giving it a jolly good try. Uh, how, how, what's, the, what's the height distance here? See, I mean, this is... I, I can think of far worse ways to spend 730 grand. Right. Oh, you, what, you walloped quite a lot of the, uh, the natives there. Yeah, I'll be fine. That's okay. And then we'll smooth this out a bit so that, you know, there's a fighting chance that the AI can, you know, build. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see how we get on. Now, what would be super, and I've not actually experimented with it enough to find out, is that uh, uh, if you were to, to put bus stops and things in on empty ground, that the, uh, that the AI would get the picture and kind of go, fine, we'll move some people in there. Look at that! Windy coastal road. Now that's also going to serve as the new delivery route uh, to get food out here. But you know, it's it's got reasons and purpose and so forth. Right, we'll bang a truck stop in, and then we'll move on to doing uh, something else with something something else. Right, no, give me this. Uh, give me the truck station. Now this is going to need room to expand later on. Now that's okay because if it needs room to expand later on, all we'll do is bulldoze it and place it again and and what have you, or you know get modular with it and uh, and make it work that way. Right, okay, good. That's all the fundamentals in there. Now that's, so far, all this has served to do is upgrade my uh, running costs. Probably quite a bit too. Uh, but that's that's okay. Here we go. Look at the size of this flipping thing. Uh, now, do you feel like... Uh, yeah, 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 you do. You do feel like it. That's very helpful of you. And that's, that's sitting in there quite nicely. Do it. Okay, knew it was going to be expensive, so that's okay. There was no need for any kind of sharp intake of breath there, as far as the uh, as far as the cost coefficient was concerned. Um, no, that's it, it, it's costedly very coefficient. Uh, with a five million quid, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I was I was prepared for that. Now we could do some kind of drama tunnel through here, but I'm not going to. I think the drama tunnel is, well, firstly, it's going to make life more difficult for me, um, and secondly, it's unnecessary. I think we might get something that looks really quite super, uh, just by uh, just by doing a, 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 a gouge out through the world. Gouge out, yes. Right, okay, so, what I currently need to evaluate is, where are the lines coming in? Now, this is not just going to be food. This will also handle some exports, and it will probably have some kind of freight interchange 
stuff going on there anyway. But that's kind of in the future, and therefore I don't really know what that's going to be yet. I just know that it will probably be something. So there's the depot. Now, having the depot interactable from here would probably be quite good. Let's be... Uh, yeah, let's be straightforward about this and, uh, and go this way. Right, so the tunnel approach... Oh, don't make me like the tunnel approach. I do like the tunnel approach. I don't like the tunnel approach. What? How? You're going to charge me a million quid for a for a gouge? I'm taking it. Where well, this is going to be train approach canyon. Better name pending, but it will do quite nicely for the time being. Uh, we managed to keep that on the flat throughout the entire thing, and that's good. So this one is basically going to be uh, delivering uh, wheats, uh, or is it? Or is this going to be picking up breads? And this one might be picking up breads, you know. Okay, right. So, what's the what's the route you're going to take? All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get rid of this uh, depot junction. I might even get rid of the depot and uh, and replace it at a slightly more convenient angle. Uh, although limiting myself, yeah, no, let's do it. I was about to say, although you know the. Uh, uh, the thing to do if one were to really challenge themselves, stuff really challenging myself, I'm going to make something that looks alright. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Now, right, let's, let's hammer through this a little bit. Don't really know where that's going at the moment. It's got plenty of places to go, it's just not going there yet. Don't, no, 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 don't get snowed down in, in that kind of thing. Now, there's a, you know, I mean, I've got a decision to make, and that decision is... Uh, which is the, uh, what's, what's the smart thing to do? Is the smart thing to do uh, to have uh, freight go over the top of passengers? Because we don't, what we don't want ever is, uh, is, uh, is freight rail having to slow down, right? And therefore, should I be thinking about, uh, you know, running my freight trains over the top of passenger trains, or should I be thinking about passenger trains over the top of freight trains? It's a dilemma. Uh, so which one's going to bridge or tunnel or, you know, basically take evasive action? All right, I've stuck it in high speed for a moment because I want to flush a bit through uh, just to get a couple more quid in the bank um, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. Now, I'm going to want at least another train on there or we abandon that one altogether and put some, you know, put a lot of metal coming from further afield. I mean, you've got... Oh, hold on, this, this could work. Because these, these chaps top out at like 400. I haven't seen them go higher than that. Now, admittedly, I haven't hit late game. But running a, running a line up here is going to be... I mean, it's just going to make an unholy amount of money. Uh, this one's already making good wedge. Uh, this one could also run up there. So we could run three up there. Because the whole point of this is that we instead of delivering to the, what, three, four towns that we're doing at the moment... We, we start delivering to a dozen. Uh, I don't know if the production from the Karachi food processing plant is, uh, is, going to, is going to work. I don't know if it's got enough output. I would hope it does. I don't, I don't click on it and find out. Okay, before you go into this kind of thing. All right, okay, so we're at level two, which is well, level one, working on level two. So that's going to be 400, 800, 1600, or is it going to be 400, 600, 800? Ooh, yeah, I know, important questions. Uh, anyway, look, I, suppliers, on the suppliers list, right, we've, I've not talked about this before, it basically lists all the farms in the world, right? Consumers, it lists all of the towns that potentially want some food, right? So, it, you know, it's not telling us that much um, as far as... Uh, as far as anything viable is concerned, let's go let's do charts since we're here. Yeah, so we've been doing a steady kind of 150 for a long time. For a really long, for 50 years. <laughs> it's 1890, everybody. Uh, for 50 years, we've been doing, uh, we've been doing kind of 150. We haven't really, haven't really changed the amount that we've been uh, producing there. But it has, uh, you know, it's kept me in shreddy. So, uh, so that's nice. Now, I don't really want to retire these trains, but also I, I do want to tweak the consist. Ah. Yeah, you might. Well, ah. also, you've got some idiot that's built a house there, uh, a factory. 
What's the what's the route you want to take? Do you want to change the angle of this now, or do you want to do it in a minute? No, I'll leave it alone. Leave it alone. I think some kind of power route up there is going to be a good one. Now then, I'm going to put another power route in next to it, uh, and that power route is going to be the, the service train to head out to Caprica, uh, and it's also going to be the service train to hit District 12. So it needs to come in on that line. So actually, I want to use one of these. Okay. All right. This is very exciting. In fact, I could do that on this double track that I've already done. Now, if it feels like I'm procrastinating here, it's because I am. Uh, because the next step is to bulldoze this. And doing so cuts off my main source of income. Okay, all right. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the, uh, the slightly more chicken approach to this, I think. Uh, which is we're going to reshape the, uh, the gouge here. Which has miraculously just healed itself, which is a bit of a swizz. Uh, as much as it's very neat, it's a bit of a swizz because it means that I now have to pay to gouge through the planet again. You know, I've already paid to, to knock a big chunk out of the world, and now you're going to make me do it again. Oh, you've left a bit. There you go. Right. But hey, look, you know, you, you've got to take the, the smooth and the rough uh, in, in, uh, in one package altogether. You can't have it in separate packages. It says on the side of it, do not split. Uh, so splitting is what we don't do. All right, that's that bit. Now then, let's uh, let's run a third track here, and this one's going to go. Uh, it's going to go out this way. Oh, I might even I might even allow this one a, a cheeky tunnel. Uh, cheeky tunnel, because this one is heading down towards Caprica. Later, it will probably be a different one. I imagine much of this approach that I'm building right now. I will rebuild later on. So you head down over there. Make a connection. That's all good. All right. Okay. Yeah. Also, I'm not too bothered about lumpy track right now because when I move to uh, diesels and electrics in about 400 episodes time, uh, then uh, I will I will look into what. <clears throat> or I will look into efficientizing the track or, you know, or at least redeveloping it or something. Um, right, okay, now then, I want to try and keep this chap intact and turn all of this current tracked area into something that can be built on by the city. Well, you're going the wrong way about it because you're, you're still basically making a beeline for where the track lies at present. Well, maybe this is an opportunity to relay the bit of track you've got there. I think if you are having a debate about under or over, now is the time to resolve that debate because you've got the, the big chunk of track there that's coming up. All right, so if I if I go gently up, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think I've left enough space. Bridge. Yeah. Okay, so if we bridge as far as there, now that's got a, that's got a speed limit on it, but you will see we're only going gently uphill. Is that enough to clear the, the rail that's coming up? I don't know. Pay for it. 90 grand in the grand scheme of things and how freely you spend cash. 90 grand is not a big investment. Okay. All right. So then... Uh, oh, I know what I'm going to do if this doesn't work. But it has worked. So uh, what I was going to do is no longer what I'm going to do. Get rid of that. Look, if you're not building on it, then it's just in my way. Yeah. Uh, almost. Almost. All right, no, keep it uh, keep it at viaduct heights. There, uh, that's still going downhill. Yeah, how does that look? Well, apart from the hovering pillars, but I suspect that's that's in part due to the fact that you've not actually placed it yet. Okay, right, yeah, keep going in the corner. That's it, good. Right, and then come back down this side. We're good. I'll I'll check in a moment to see whether the hovering pillars are in, sta in fact still hovering. They are. Oh, well, that, it's obviously I'm using some form of maglev here to uh, to make that work. Oh, uh, how long does this flipping downhill chunk need to be? Really, quite long. No, that's okay. That's that's all fine. I mean, it's it's extensive certainly, but uh, but it's not beyond the realm of possibility. Well, or beyond the realm of it's fine. Okay. It doesn't really matter what realm it is or isn't beyond the. 
uh, it's absolutely it's absolutely terrific good right so we'll then double track all the way up to here because this is going to all of a sudden this is going to become uh very 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 well used uh we'll be running quite a lot of trains into here so let's let's prep it for that eventuality shall we take me to the moderation system are they all going to be arriving at once uh no okay all right one more track for now all right and also let's start let's make these a bit longer now that's a platform there you go let's start making these a bit longer because eventually we will be bringing in some whacking great trains here uh right cargo plat yeah yeah okay good more cargo plat yes right Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the, the I mean the, the principle here is once I once I bulldoze this main line or hook it up differently, uh, then I'll I'll finish that off. It's, this is more about giving me something to aim for. So what I'm thinking is uh, local delivery of corn, uh, crops, whatever, uh, comes in on on the uh, on the leftmost. Uh, pick up of food on the middle, and then uh, other delivery of crops on the right. We will need more later. We don't need more now. Uh, so it's pretty much as it's configured right now. Okay. When are you going to tear the Band-Aid off and, uh, and hybrid this track up? Well, I think what I'll probably do is we'll do a little bit of it now. So if I, uh, if I drag you out that way. Okay. That's a good, uh, a good speedy junction we've got there. Uh, and we'll whiz you out this way. Yeah, I'm going to collide with everything. Also, no. Okay. All right, okay, do it again. Oh, hold on, what's happened here? Well, I'll tell you what's happened here, is you've confused the heck out of the, uh, out of the groundwork system that's going on there. Yeah, I have, haven't I? Okay, tell you what, we don't actually use this road. So, uh, so... It can just it can just get knotted. There we are. Right, road can get knotted. Just hook up this bit of track, and then also I think we'll also do the way that wherever the super depot is going to live. All right, because that way you can actually start running this, and uh, and that'll be why why have you got such drama with with actually implementing junctions that are high speed? S uh, sit in there. All right. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, come on. Yeah, you can't do it. No. Okay. All right. Fine. Well, I'm deleting that bit of track anyway. So, you know, if it's all the same to you, I've got 27 million in the bank again. I could switch this off now, and I've probably got enough to finish this. No, you haven't. I probably haven't got enough to finish this. There you go. Now, the other thing is, you're going to need this station to get onto your main, uh, your main uh, freight line here. Okay, well that's easily done. I mean, we just wang it out over there, right? Uh, and it can get onto the lift. Uh, we then separate that bit off entirely. So that will give us two farms, both of which are going to be delivering by train. Um, we'll up the quantity going in quite quickly. Yes. Now, we could then... No, because you're not going to be running hoppers into the, into the station here. All right, so we could then stick number three on there, or, all right, or I could just stick three trains delivering from this one. Let's do that first, yeah? And then you'll have a really busy freight line going on, and that will be ruddy amazing. Ruddy amazing, really? Okay, fine. Right, okay, let's put a depot in, uh, and then we can, uh, then we can, then I'll, I'll sever my, uh, sever my lifeline of payments. And I think, actually, a good place for this is going to be... Think about passenger routes. All right, well, do I need to go behind me? No. All right, so about here? About here. This, I think this gives you optimum choices as far as... Oh, hold on, it depends which way. Where's the door? Okay, the door's at the other end. That's good. Uh, just, just get it done, man. All right, okay, we got a bit of that. That's splendid. And then uh, we're going we're gonna to head out this way. Oh, hold well on. I don't know. I'm not. I'm, yeah, thanks. Shh, shh, shh. 
Thank you, telephone. Oh, flipping heck, it's playing me the news. I don't need the news. Crikey, because it's not going to be cheerful, is it? It's going to be more things you disagree with have happened. Oh, great. Uh, bad decisions being made by people. Kind of go, look, I make bad decisions for entertainment purposes. I don't need people making bad decisions. I need people making good decisions. Right, can I actually bend this around here? Will it, will it do that? It's saying too much curvature, but does it really mean it? Okay, you can get over that side. <laughs> hey! Alright, that's, that's come up alright. And then if you do that as well, then everybody's got access. Alright, now it's, it's odd. Yeah, I, and I, I will grant you that it's uh, it's a bit odd. We double slip that one. A bit more development on this is going to be required, but for the moment, it will certainly uh, serve its purpose quite elegantly. Now then... Are you ready? No, I'm not. I'm not ready. Ah, what you could do? Yes. All right, I know what I'm going to do. Um, so, we grab you there. Hello there, you. And, oh no, no, wait. I've got one more bit I need to do. Okay, and that is, that is, run this into the cargo terminal. Ooh, exciting. Well, I should Coco. Um, all right. Okay. So, how are you gonna? Where are you gonna? When are you going to? Oh, that's a lot of questions all at once. Um. Right. Well, let's uh, let's activate another track on here. No, you don't need to activate another track on here. Uh, you need. In fact, you haven't even finished that one. Crikey, he's like a magpie, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, whack that on there. Good. Right. That's the Caprica run. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, that's probably a bad decision. This one should probably be the Caprica run, but that for now, that one, Caprica run, is. Um, we just need to make sure that we're maintaining the deliveries that we've already got. So Zion can go by road. That's easy. Uh, District 12, that can come out of the station, which is going to be great. Uh, so what we'll do with that is you need to route round onto this little slipper track that we've got there. So if I come in from that side, now obviously this isn't going to, this is going to definitely need redeveloping once I start those passenger routes up. Uh, let's go 65 is going to be easily fast enough for just uh, a Johnny Goods train there. And then what, something like this? Yeah, it makes this junction a bit of the, uh, oh, 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 there's a lot going on there. But that should be fine. Signals are going to be the, uh, the order of the day, but in a moment. Not just yet. That's already slipped. Right, good. Now, that's... I mean, it's not... No, it isn't, is it? No, it really isn't. But it is. So uh, so that's all good. Um, in the sense of, what the heck have I been building? I mean, you zoom out once in a while and you just kind of go, someone has lost their ruddy mind. Uh, and that someone is me. And I think it's actually because I've been building on the cheap. So I've, I've been building, you know, lots of single track stuff. In your Transport Fever 1, I'll, I'd be double tracked here, there, and all over the shop by now. Um, but I'm not at the moment. Right, well, you can, you can start working on this now. Okay, right. You've got a full load. I'm, I'm, I'm loath to... Uh, to tell you to go to the depot. Right, you come down here, drop this lot off, and then you can go to the depot and get sold. I'll probably buy exactly the same train again in a moment, but for now, I need you to go and get sold so that I can clear this track. Uh, the same goes for your, your compadre there as well, is, uh, is you can all go get sold. And then we, we are at rip the band-aid off moment here, incidentally, just so as you're aware. Obviously, they're not very quick these trains, so we've uh, so I need to you know fill in the uh, the gaps with uh, with high uh, quality uh, entertainment type uh, commentary sort of stuff. All right, come on, here you come. All right, and slow it down some. That's it. Prep prep the thing for dust off and wait till it makes some money, which it has now done, and get sold. Oh. What? You don't even need to go to the depot. I mean, partly that's fortunate because it can't reach the depot. So, uh, so that you can just sell it whenever you feel like it. Oh, I don't agree with that. I know people have mentioned it before, 
Um, but no, I don't. I don't agree with that in the slightest. Make it go back to the depot. It causes chaos, and that's fun. Uh, you've got a bunch of stuff on board. I don't care. Go to the depot. There you are. Yep, you're sold. Right there we are. That's that's that. Yeah, brutal. Um, right. Okay. Now then, let's uh, let's get uh, let's get to dozing, and uh, let's sort this junction. Okay, so uh, that. I've deleted back further than I need to, so I can make that a little bit smoother, but you knew that already, because that is how I roll. Or it's it's among the ways in which I roll. I roll in, in several ways, but that's one of them. Right, yeah, all of this. What about it doing this ugly crossover? Yeah, yeah, get rid of that. There you go. Utterly needless, but uh, utterly essential at the same time. Right, you've gone back further than you need to. Oh. Right. Okay. Where's the uh, Where's the Caprica train? Because th that's history as well. Uh, it's currently running empty. So much the better. Get sold. Right now, then, clocks against us, people. Uh, as much as everything runs profitably, I've just cut off the uh, uh, the major faucet of uh, of bank bucks happening in my bank box. Yeah, I have. That's the thing I just did. Uh, yeah. 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 Now, there is an argument to be made for, well, if you leave the legacy track in, then if you need it later on, you don't have to rebuild the flipping thing. Uh, which is true, but so what? Now then, we're going to... Yeah, are we there? Uh, no, that's not hooked up. Okay, so this needs to hook up onto the main freight line uh, for the delivery of, uh, of raw materials. Now, I don't even, I don't think this is even necessary, you know. I think if I stuck three trains on the uh, on the other delivery route, we'd be fine there. But I've already got the station. It's already got stuff waiting. It, it is a little churlish not to, uh, not to deploy that. It is. You've got two platforms as well. And there's goods waiting here. Now, I think that actually using that longer away uh, service there is, is probably a good idea. And the reason that it's probably a good idea is because uh, it will pay off mightily every time it arrives. Uh, incidentally, we shall, we shall now start instituting a bit of uh, a bit of power track here. Uh, right. Also, pause up because I'm going to I'm going to ruin this chap's day. Okay. Right. So if we now branch that off, so it double tracks. Yep. And then uh, keep coming. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's all good. I think I'm probably going to need to work a junction in there, uh, but that's fine. I can do that. That's a thing I've done before, and I will do it again, and no one can stop me. Well, they, they can. I can. They can run me out of money, and that will that will probably do the job nicely. But uh, in a in a spiritual sense, no one can dampen my spirits for such things. All right. Okay. So I'm going to bang another train on here that looks pretty much identical to the other one. Has to look pretty much identical to the other one so that they uh, they run this route at a, uh, a similar speed. Uh, right. You. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Shut it. I'll make it work. It shouldn't work, but I will make it work. Why shouldn't it work? Right. Well, because you've got your downhill line on that one, and you've got an uphill line on this one. Oh, very good. Yeah. So what this needs is we put the interrupt here. We'll have that. Uh, we'll have that cascade over to this one. That's a very flashy way of describing it, isn't it? It will work. All right. It might not work brilliantly, but that will certainly do something. Uh, I'm ignoring uh, signalling for the moment because I'll make. I'll tell you what else. What else? I'm bulldozing that one as well. We're going to go with a completely fresh, a fresh stock. Oh, hold on, he's about to deliver. All right, let him deliver. There you go. Thanks for the money, and uh, your service is appreciated. Get sold. Uh, right. Now then, have we got every delivery option hooked up that we need? So Zion, yeah, and uh, District Twelve, yes. Uh, although you'll need a, a new pickup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need new pickup routes everywhere. Um, Caprica, yes. Okay, so we're no worse off in terms of deliverization, uh, but now we just want to uh, we want to set up the lines. So uh, let's go line manager. Let's go trains. Right, you are. Uh, okay, so food hub transfer, and that's uh, green. 
Your guess is as good as my food. Hub, MCO to Caprica. Oh, okay, so that's down here. It was. It's broken now. Ah, delete the line. All right, food top. Tell you what, delete all the lines. Food top, to delete it. Even though I'm going to put that straight back in anytime soon. Is that all of them? That is all of them. Okay. This is this is very exciting. Uh, okay, so we want uh, from hither uh, up to yon. Okay, good. I'll sort the line out on that in a minute uh, because it's almost certainly going to be running single track because I've got any points down at the uh, at the hub end. Uh, right, so this is going to be food, and this is uh, but it's not production; it's uh, distribution distribution to hub okay I, I, my naming convention is completely all over the joint but i have got a fair idea what it means only a fair idea you understand right <clears throat> uh so this is going to be uh your food yeah production yeah alpha oh hello again alpha we've not we've not seen you used as a name in a while uh this one yeah, go on, click stations to add. I'm going to. There you go, click out of that station. And you're going up there. Right, good. So this one is food, uh, pro, production. Nah, that's not the same thing. Uh, production, uh, bravo. <coughs> good. And then we need another one. Uh, and that's going to be from here out to there. Okay. And then this one is going to be uh, food... Uh, delivery uh, district 12 district 12 okay good and then the next one for there is another one and uh, that's going to come out here I could probably elongate that line but uh, we'll worry about that another time uh, this one's going to be food I've done it again it's not the first time that I put foot in instead of food I don't know what's going on in my subconscious there uh, but uh, pretty sure there's nothing particularly dramatic about my foot at the moment. Uh, food delivery, Caprica City. Foot production, Bravo. Let's change that to food, shall we? Well, we've got enough feet. Uh, we don't need any more. Now, 31 million quid. I've actually, there is a, there is a very real chance here that I've, I've overzealoused the, uh, the amount that I can actually handle in terms of buying new vehicles. But, you know, that's exciting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, right, new vehicles. So, steam trains. We haven't got any electrics yet, because it's still the 19th century. Now, the consolidation was doing a bang-up job. We've got the mogul available, which is nice and flipping quick. Um, it would do the job. It's probably a, maybe a bit overkill for what we're trying to do here. Uh, they've got the Class OB. Uh, the the Snovnoi is, uh, is nice. Yeah, <laughs> good. It's nice, is it? Yes, it is. We've also got the Fairly, which is fairly slow. So that's that's no good. Um, but it's it's well grunty, so it's good for up and downhill. That would probably work quite nicely on my uh, my lumber route. Uh, if we go back to the consolidation, the Baldwin class, 284 and 70 with a 60 top speed versus 480. Mm. Um, uh, what about a PLM? 450 and 75. Yeah, it's pricey though. I think we stick with the consolidation for now, and I'm going to run a lot of them. So we'll uh, we'll go with this, and then we we need to slap. Oh, I, I resisted pressing that. Uh, we need to slap some some goodies on that. Uh, so let's go. Let's make this the gondolas, shall we? By all means, be my guest. Uh, do we want to use the big gondolas or the little gondolas? Okay, well, this tiny little gondola here only carries four, so we don't really want to use that. We'll use something that carries more than this. Okay, yeah, what do you want? Ah, let's go with this beefcake here. Let's go for that. How many do you want? Uh, enough to make a difference. Ah, oh, this has only got a 50 km per hour speed gun uh, associated with it, whereas, uh, whereas the consolidation can handle, uh, can handle 60. This one also appears to be lacking its rear bogey at the moment, but uh, but I'm sure that'll work out just just fine. Uh, right, one, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, three. Uh, just just stop talking and do it when you think you've got the right capacity. Seventy-seven, eighty-four. Okay, right, buy that. Yeah, how many do you want to buy? 
I'm going to buy four of them. Okay, that's a lot. You might want to hold on. Well, that's only going to be about 15 million at the most. It's bold, but uh, but there it is. Okay, right now, no, number one and number two. No, not all of them. Okay, right, just those two. Two vehicles selected. I want to stick you on uh, food production alpha. Okay, right. You two, you can go on food production bravo. Uh, yep, okay. And then we're buying some more train. Okay, now... I think we go for oh, crumbs. No, you're going to need at least three. Just bringing stuff down from there to be distributed further. So, all right, okay. In fact, you need more than that. How many do you need? Four. All right. Well, this is going to this is going to rinse me for cash, then, isn't it? And I think the mogul might be the way to go with this, because uh, well, I hold on. The wagons only do fifty. Do they? What have we got box car wise? 50 and you've got no choices so uh, it's 50 or shut up so there's no sense in doing well okay there is some sense in going a little bit more powerful than that because obviously the acceleration will be there the ob is 1.6 right the consolidation is one we stick with uh, we'll go with the train that is is paying the bills right now or okay hold on 240 and 60 versus 284 this is going to be better. It's going to it's, it's going to be better. It's a little bit more expensive. What about the GV? No, you're not. You look. What I'm looking for is something that has got more power than this one, but is cheaper. You want the moon on a stick? I do want the moon on a stick. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This PV here, three hundred and sixty. Now it's top speed. I'm losing a bit, but in terms of extra money, it's negligible. No, 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 no. Go all, but all consolidation all the time. This will be known as the consolidation era, where we consolidated in an era. All right. Okay. So, well, yeah, yeah. What do you got there? 77, 84. Keep going. 98. Ooh, that might be more than this train can potentially handle. Uh, you've dropped a, dropped a mediocre Flat, it will do 50, which is fine. It's top speed anyway. Uh, medium, 36. Yeah, it actually tells you how fast it will go. Okay, right. Well, what if I cane this last one? Now? 38. Okay. Now? 40. All right, 40 is acceptable. What's that give us? 84 capacity. Uh, I'm going to want a few of these. How many is a few? All of the ones I can afford. All right, you've got seven million left. You could have another one if you want it. I probably do want it, but I ought, I ought to deliver to somewhere at least. You've still got your truck thing happening. That's uh, that's still going. You'll still be able to deliver to Zion. Yes. All right, and well, how about doing a doing a Zion and a D twelve? Yeah. All right. Okay. So what I want is I want another one of those. Can I can I clone this, please? Yep. All right. Can I have another one? Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. This is. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. crikey. Uh, and things. Um, right. You go and do uh, food distribution to hub. All right. I've got three hundred grand left. Uh, you go do the D twelve run. Uh, yep. You do the Caprica run. Okay. Right, good. Now, I'm going to unleash the, the, the terror from here. That's going to take ages uh, before they're all out and about and amusing themselves. Uh, we'll stick a signal on there to give them a fighting chance. On the subject of signals, I need to place a few of them, don't I? Well, I say a few. I need to place, like, tons of them. And also, I need to do that before they start rattling up and down my, uh, my track. So let's, uh, let's stick... Make this one way and stick it on there. There you go. Exclamation mark. Okay, yeah, 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 it's fine. That's because the hub is currently not got a turnaround on it. I'm just hoping that in the short term I can I can make enough money to, to be able to ramificate all of this. But the good news is that I do have 10 million available in the loan situation. The bad news is I might actually have to use it. Right. 
Give me some cash. Thank you. All right. Because uh, we, we do kind of need this to work. Is that sorted you? No. Okay. Uh, what about this? Has that sorted you? No. Oh, dear. All right. Okay. Well, there, there may need to be some more thorough investigation. What's broken? Oh, hold on. It, no, no. You've got two broken lines there. Slow her down. Now then, you lot. Hello there. Food delivery Zion. Change of plan for you folks. Oh, okay. Configure the line. Yeah. We deliver. We remove that. And I want you to instead come down to here. Okay. Think you can do that? Why are you not showing me the line? Uh, this all looks. This all looks fine. This all looks fine. This all looks fine. This all looks fine. This all looks fine, and it all looks fine. Right. You you generally can't have a problem with that, unless I clicked on the wrong thing, which is very very possible, but it, it's not at the same time possible. No, I clicked on the right thing. That's a truck stop. It's not a bus stop. That should be fine. Right, show me the show me the trucks all hauling out now to go get onto the they have done. Fan dabby dozy. Right, okay, now what are you want yeah you are. All right, come here. I need to configure this as well. D twelve configure line. Uh, you're going to need to come from this truck stop here instead of Mega City One East. Uh, add a station. Add a station, thank you. This one. Yes. Oh, it's not showing it because you're on rail rather than road. There we go. There, that's, that's that. Good. Okay, that's that fixed. So we've got some endpoint solutions going on there, which is groovy. Right, now we need to concentrate on, on fixing that, which hath been broken by yours truly in the last minute or two. Uh, first up, let's uh, signal this. All right, that's good. And uh, then let's signal this. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like this. Good. Right. Anything else you want to do? <sighs> Tough to say for sure. Uh, sling that on here. Right. Okay, now then. Uh, we need... Uh, I don't know what, what the numbering caper is here. Uh, so, terminals. How about you tell me what is actually occurring? Tell me what is actually occurring. We've got some going in a two and some going in a three. So production, uh, Alpha and Bravo. I really want them. No, I want one going into that one and the other one going into this one. Okay. It's not highlighting for me. I, don't, I really wish it would. Show me this. Show me trains. Thank you. There you go. That's, that makes life easier. We've got quite a lot of mess on that. Uh, I'm, I think that will probably work itself out. Uh, will it? Uh, it might do. All right, you're going to need another signal on here. Turn that one way, yeah. This one I think you've already done. I mean, yeah, you have. Okay, so that should work. Well, hold on. It's got to come out this way. So, yeah, it will deliver into one and then come back out again. That should That should be fine. Complicated, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit. Um, right. I mean, if anything, I need more signals on here because there's not enough blocks for my uh, for my trains to be able to stack up appropriately. So, uh, so a bit more signal action. So, if we did one here, all right, that would uh, that will keep them rolling. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. No, I, I do know why that signal's there, but it doesn't really serve a purpose anymore. Uh, stick that there. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not directly opposite the other one. That doesn't make me happy either. Uh, but it is exactly what it is. Yep. And then uh, we don't really want to stick one on the bridge. But we're going to stick one on the bridge. Okay. Uh, we stick one on the... And this one doesn't want to be one way. We stick one on the uh, the outgoing from here. Yeah. All right. Keep them coming. Stick one on that. Yes. Uh, stick another one over here. And stick one on there. Okay. And stick one on there. All right. You may think this is haphazard. I, I assure you it is definitely not haphazard. Oh, we can't get out to Caprica. Can we? We can't. Okay, right. Well, I better put a bit of track in to deal with that. Um, 
and yet you were just about to whack in a piece of temporary track, weren't you? Yeah. Well, that's not good enough. I'm going to put in a piece of temporary track. Right, okay, do that. There you go. All right, okay, now then, what's the problem? Who's who's busted? Oh, flipping heck, they're all busted. Um, okay, good. Right, I'm going to unpick this at the start of the next episode. Yeah, because you've had enough for today. You have. You've definitely had more than enough. Uh, it's, uh, I can't leave it, though. What's your problem? Right, you come out this way. Why will you not flap over to the other track? I built you one of these. Look, that's lovely. You can just use that. If I were to stick a signal in here to go, no, 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 then you would probably get the idea. So you come in here onto this one. That's fine. That's that's what's invited of you. I wish it would show me the route at the same time. Thank you. Uh, just you put that on there, and then it goes back out again. And you want to come up this way, right? Okay. So far, looks legit. Everything looks legit. It keeps looking legit. This is all still connected. I, I reckon the problem is that I just haven't connected a bit of track somewhere. But I'm at a loss to understand where that could possibly be. Yeah, keeps coming this way. Yeah, it, it's got to be. A, it's just got to be a gap in the track somewhere. Must be. Otherwise, I haven't done anything that would interfere with the smooth operation. Thank you, Sade, of uh, of this operation. All right. Yeah, can't keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It should be obvious when you see it. You'll know it. Uh, nope. Uh, it's not not there. It, it, I'm, I'm pretty certain all of this is double tracked. Maybe you need some points at this end. No, I don't, because you can do it here, look. I think all it is that it hasn't, it has not smartly associated you with the right platform. I want you on this one. Terminals. No, wait, it does look like it's on the correct terminal as well. In which case, what's the problem train to oh turn around nope in which case what's the problem look you just zip down here this is I mean, it's, it's not rocket science in fact it's anything but and I mean a moment ago you were going yep 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 got all of that that's uh, that's all uh, that's all good that is there's, uh, I've got a, I've got an issue in here somewhere though. Now, part of me thinks maybe you've got your uh, signals on the wrong bit of track. Okay, I don't think I have. I don't think I put enough signals down to actually get it wrong. Why are you going into that platform? That is the thing that I told you not to do. All right, maybe you misread this. All right, so if this, if that's two, that has to be this one. Right? It can't possibly be... It, why does it think it's going in a one? No, look. Just... Would you please configure? Alright, okay. So, uh, three, two, two. No. What? A? No. No, not configure. No, I want terminals. Yeah, go U. No, red. Red. Try to... That's terminal one. That's terminal two. That's terminal three. We'll try going into terminal three then. Ta -da! No. Uh, just, just what? I don't. What's your? I don't. I. I don't understand. Uh, especially since this one was supposed to be for production. So if we let's let's stick this on that one, and let's stick this on that one, all right? And then let's stick this on that one. Multiple vehicles are exhausted. I don't care. Oh, hold on. Uh, everything's now working apart from Bravo. Now Bravo can't come into this side apparently. Although I am defeated as to know why. I didn't make these one. I'm, there aren't any signals here. Oh, hold on. You're a signal. What are you? Are you one way? All right. Let's make you a no one way. That apparently is happy now, despite the fact it could have gone anyway. No, you're lost. What's your problem? All right. Look, I've clearly, obviously, I have decided that uh, no path. Go. Go, yes, path. Yes, yes to path. Path you have, path you don't have. Okay, temporary piece of track, which will be permanent, 
but it is, you know, it's placed for a temporary problem. Uh, slip, slip that down into there. Go on, get out. Road vehicle 127 is exhausted. Oh, hush. Right, okay, you're going. Good. What's the next flashing idiot? Uh, production Bravo. All right, show me what Production Bravo thinks is going on. I want to go in and out of there. You don't, though, do you? And is it simply that... No, it's not. It isn't. It is. Ah, it is. What you don't have is the means for it to get over on at the other track. I was pretty sure I'd done that. Yeah, okay. All right, another piece of temporary something here is going to probably be vital. Just do that. Uh, right, what I've created is anarchy. And what I need to do is uncreate anarchy. And I will get to that in the next episode, but I've got it moving now. There it goes. The, the, the red hazard light of oops has, uh, has departed the scene. And I am now running an absolute ruddy ton of consolis up and down the consoli line here. Lats. Thank you, autosave. Lovely to see you. When you finished, there you go. What are you packing? 59 of 63. I need you to be carrying more than that. Yeah. Okay, right. All right. Okay, this is going to be fine. It's all going to be good. I need to basically bulldoze all of this lot and then put it back in again so that it's orderly. That's okay. It's because I tried to bodge it in over the top of what was there already and uh, that didn't work. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. I've said that before. I've said it again just now. I hope you were paying attention to when I said it again just now. The money's not good. Um, but I do have the ironworks in place in order to make the money good. Uh, everything else is making money. These, uh, these lines, which were printing most of the money before, are now costing me a lot. Uh, but they, they'll pick up. I mean, he's carrying some. He's got, he's got a full load, look. 84 of 84. When he delivers... It's payday. A lot. Oh, hold on. You you, you two should not be drag racing. Also, why are you using the high-speed camera when you've got two trains drag racing? What in the world is wrong with you? I've been Colonel Failure again for a third time. A third lucky Colonel Failure name check there. Uh, hit the like button because I need it to keep me alive. I'll be back soon with another one. Thank you for watching. Cheerio. Okay, goods hub. Well, it's only one type of goods hub, but it's a goods hub nonetheless. Uh, and a lot is going to come down to just how many trains can I run in and out of here uh, as quickly as possible in order to stuff this place absolutely jam-packed full of food. Uh, and that's going to be tricky until I break through into, oh, let's say the 1920s, where you get start to get some decent electrics coming along uh, that can haul the kind of uh, quantity of materials that's actually going to be needed to to propel this forwards. But in the meantime, it's an excuse to run a heck of a lot of steam trains, and there's there's no bad thing about that. I mean, you know, steam trains don't stick around forever and ever, and therefore it's worth having some that you can uh, you can have a look at and, uh, and inhale the smog therefrom. Uh, money is going to work out absolutely fine. I mean, having pulled the trigger on this now, and I've got to wait for it to settle back down again, but I reckon my annual profit will be about where it was before, if not quite a lot higher. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but you never know, it might even fuel some growth on some towns and some things and some this and that and that and this. Anyway, uh, if you can be bothered, uh, smash your face against the like button, because reasons. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what the reasons are. is because uh, the old YouTube algorithm there goes, oh, look at that. They've engaged with that video. They've they've uh, they've given it a mark of approval or disapproval. Thumbs down actually counts exactly the same as a thumbs up. Don't do thumbs down. No, it just bums me out. I kind of go, why are these people? Don't watch it. If you're going to give it a thumbs down, don't flip and watch the thing. Anyway, whatever. Do that, and then I'll next time. Yeah. Okay. Right. See you then.